Guys, man, welcome back to the show. And today we are talking about... No, we're not talking about that. Today we are talking about super materials. Super alloys and super duper 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 metals. So, super slippery metals. Um, so, there's been comments, uh, questions, stuff like this about materials. We've been doing the material samples. And um, a lot of people have asked why do they use certain materials for certain things. Blah, 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 blah. And we've done a video on ceramic engines and why the entire engine isn't made out of ceramic and stuff like that. Uh, we're going to start looking at titanium and uh, carbon fibre and where it can be used and blah, 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 blah. Um, but what I want to talk about is um, the superest of super materials. So, super material... Someone asked me, out of all the materials out there, what is the best material? What is the super material? What is the material that is just fucking wonderful? The answer to this question, in my opinion, is steel. Steel is a super, super material. We kind of forget how good steel is. Steel is, well, everything everything to us. Aluminium has its properties, magnesium has its properties, but nothing has what we require like steel. Your crankshaft, con rods, wrist pins, valves, cam, camshafts, crankshafts, I don't know if I said camshafts or crankshafts then. Um, your springs, your tappets, your uh, stanchions for your rods, your springs for your suspension, your fasteners and fittings, a lot of frames, exhausts, um, Pretty much nearly fucking everything. The invention of steel was the... And when was steel invented? Nobody fucking knows. A long, long time ago. Um, and steel is an alloy. So in a sense, to me, it should be a super alloy. Steel is an alloy, and a lot of people don't seem to realise this. An alloy is a mixture of materials, a mixture of elemental materials. And steel is in the most basic form is a mix between iron and carbon but if you look at steels there is a ridiculous choice of steels just mind-boggling how far it goes and you've got manganese zinc copper aluminium tungsten nickel just fuck nearly every metal that we can think of um not every metal but nearly every metal that has uh, that is mixed into steels. Uh, there are steels for everything. One of the s awesome properties of steel is what we can do with it. We can have steel that's really malleable and ductile, quite soft. Uh, we can have steels that are uh, very hard, very rigid or tough. Um, we're going to go through the difference between hard and tough and what we'd like to say strong, <laughs> which is a bit of a weird, um, it doesn't really mean that much, the strong. Um, but yeah, steel is absolutely fantastic and that's why it's still used today. It's not just the fact that it's cheap. People just seem to think, well, they make crankshafts out of steel or con rods or whatever out of steel because it is cheap. Titanium is the future. No, no, it's not. It is not. Um, you know, they're not going to make engines completely out of titanium. There are just things that titanium just can't do, um, that steel can and steel does. And it's very well documented, very well understood. Steel is a fantastic material. You can make it differentiated. Um, so you can have soft and hard regions. Um, you know, the only real bitch about steel is the fact that it will readily oxidise, the iron will readily oxidise in air. A lot of things will do, but stuff like aluminium, um, they have um, basically oxide layers that will quite well and easily stick and adhere to the aluminium base underneath. In a sense, that's the problem with steel and rust, is that um, if used properly, like um, iron oxide 3 and stuff like that, you can actually make protective passivated coating to yourself, you have to actually actively do that. Steel itself will just rust. Um, 
But even stuff like cast iron, you know, a lot of piston rings are cast iron, a lot of cylinder sleeves from all the engines are cast iron. Um, steel is just absolutely fantastic. You think of bearings, you think of all the, you know, roller bearings and stuff. You look in your engine, most of its weight, most of its gravity comes from the fact that it's steel. Steel is a fantastic material and I absolutely love it. You know, high speed steel will cut steels. It's just the way that it, the way that steel works and the way we can utilize its properties are fantastic. Now because of the industrial revolution and because we've had steel for such a long time because the earth's crust has a very high percentage of steel, uh, iron compared to a lot of the other materials. Um, you know, it is a fantastic material. I just can't say it enough. Um, without it, without steel period, we'd be not fucked, but we wouldn't be able to get to the extremes of power and performance that we, we can. This is why it's still used nowadays um, at the cutting edge of engine design and stuff. You know, Formula One are not making um, carbon nanotube crankshafts, and they never will. <laughs> But you see what I'm saying is is that at the core of these engines it's still steel because steel is just fucking sweet. And I think that all these things with the name super alloys, Inconel, um I'm trying to think of some others off the top of my head. Stellite and Do you know what when you try and think of these things off the top of your head, it all just disappears. Yeah. Beryllium copper no beryllium copper's not a super alloy. But a lot of the titanium alloys, um, it's all just gone, fuck sick. <laughs> but yeah, it's because I'm getting hard on over steel. Steel is just fucking awesome. Um, like I say, you look at the carbon, the carbon uh, iron diagram and all the different facets that we can have in there. Just an absolutely wonderful, wonderful material. You know, all, nearly all of your tools, pretty much 95, 98% of them are steel fucking wonderful material and I think that we kind of have got into this thing where we don't consider steel to be an awesome awesome alloy an awesome awesome material it's kind of ah that's just steel you know not everything is mild steel at all it's just that that's the biggest one that's been produced because it's cheap and because like with anything if it's cheap and shit it's cheap and shit you know uh, same with cast iron it's cheap as it will it's just cheap Cheap, 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 from a manufacturing point of view. You actually try and buy um, cast iron off eBay or something like that, you're more likely to get steel a lot cheaper, mild steel a lot cheaper. But uh, steel powers the earth, it literally does. Your um, power lines, <laughs> stuff like that. You know, it holds up your buildings, it holds you, you know, it is the core of your engine. Just absolutely fantastic stuff. I don't know what else to say. I think I might just go and have a bit of a private moment with myself for about 20 minutes. Hope that makes sense. Hope that answered the guy's question. And I'll see you in a bit.